Hi, I'm Chef Carol, and today I'm going to make low carb cornbread stuffing. To do that, I have already made a low carb cornbread, which I will give you the recipe for. I won't be demoing it. I also have a pound of sage sausage, which I'm going to put on the stove to brown. I have celery, which I've diced, one small onion, diced, one green pepper, diced. I have a teaspoon of sage. I have three cloves of garlic, mint. I have a half a cup of chopped pecans, and I have about three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. My oven is preheating at 350 degrees. So the first thing I'm going to do is crumble my cornbread. While I'm crumbling the cornbread, I'm going to put the sausage on the stove and let it start to brown. I have one recipe of a low carb keto cornbread. I'm going to give you the website that I've used, but you can research and find one that you might prefer. This one I like because it rolls up nicely. I've used it before to make the cornbread, so I'm happy to recommend it. So right now I'm just crumbling this up by hand. It will eventually get added into vegetables. Following this, I'm going to add in tutorials for slicing, dicing celery, onions, mincing garlic, and the green pepper. So if you're not familiar with those techniques, those will follow after this.
is a tutorial for dicing celery. So you want to so you want to take a peeler and peel off the top layer. Take your knife and cut off the ends that you won't be using. Then you slice the celery rib. And you take your knife and you determine what size you want your celery pieces to be. If you're doing a small dice or a medium dice or a large dice. Depends on what your recipe calls for. Small dice celery. My sausage has been browning, so to this, I'm going to add in the garlic, and then I'm going to add in the onion. I'm going to add in the celery and the green pepper. So I'm going to let those vegetables cook and soften up. The sausage is cooked, the vegetable mixture has softened, and I'm going to take this and add it to the crumbled cornbread and the rest of the seasonings. So I have my crumbled cornbread. I'm going to add in the sausage and the vegetable mix. To this, I'm adding two teaspoons of poultry seasoning, and I have a teaspoon of sage. Just going to mix this up. I am now going to add in the chopped pecans and I'm going to add in a half a cup of the chicken broth. If it needs more, and I'll add it in. I have prepared a two quart baking dish, which I have lined with parchment. You can just take a baking dish and actually grease it if you like. I just have a preference for using parchment paper. I'm going to add this mix in and then I will bake it. At this point before you bake it, make sure you taste and adjust your seasoning in case you think it needs a little salt and pepper.
I like to add a little paprika on the top. So I will do that and then I will put it in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes until the top is brown. See you back here. The low carb cornbread stuffing is finished. Overall, it took maybe about half an hour plus the 20 minutes of baking time and it actually baked in about 15 minutes. Make sure you keep a watch on it. All ovens are different. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. And as I love to say, bon appetit. See you soon.